No matter what anybody said. Amy is going to come and join us, but first uh, I wanted to talk to mom. She is 14. Is she actually trying to get pregnant, or is this something that she thinks will get your goat? No, and she really wants a baby. Now, you've had to take her to the doctor several times, right? Three times for pregnancy tests. Okay. Because she, she'll she come to me and she'll tell me, Mom, I haven't had my period. I think I'm pregnant. Tell me about her being sexually active. She'll do it any chance she gets. She doesn't use any... Her little brother will give her, her little brother will give her condoms, and she won't use them. She doesn't, she tells him that she wants a baby, and she's not using one. So she And she don't want... care who the dad is. She don't want a dad there. She just wants a baby. Is she sleeping with a lot of different guys? Is that what, what, what I'm hearing? She says she is, yeah. Says I she's... know of three that she slept with. Last year, she, when she was 13, she snuck out uh, with a boy to have sex, and she thought she was pregnant because she had had an orgasm, and she thought that makes you pregnant. Yep. Yep. She... What happens if Amy does get pregnant? You're telling me unprotected she, sex... I am not going to take care of her baby. She will take How care of her baby. She won't clean, she won't, she doesn't brush her, I mean, she's, she does not have good hygiene for herself. I know she will not take care of her baby. How? My friend had a baby, and the baby had dirty its diaper, and Amy freaked. She was like, take it now, get it off me, get it away from me. And she's telling me that she wants a baby. How does all this make you and your ex-husband feel? How, how do you feel about this? I'm hurt because I don't want that for her. I want her to go through life and be, to be able to have a chance at life. I don't want her to ruin it by having a baby. I don't want her to have to sit at home and take care of a baby. I want her to be a teenager, go to the dances, go to the football games, go and have fun. She'll then never be able to do it again. She let's, don't care. Let's bring Amy out. Go, go. <laughs> heard what mother said, right? Mm -hmm. You are 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to have a baby? Because I need... Good, huh? Nope. Not good at all. I look at those sad eyes. You have some of the saddest eyes I've seen in a long time. For the past month, her 14... We're, de we're dealing with 14-year-olds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, her name is Rochelle. She is trying to get pregnant by her boyfriend who is 20 years old. Right. Now, mom says that Rochelle already had a pregnancy scare when she was 12. 12 years old. So mom really has, you have reason to worry. Yes, I'm, think so. I'm very worried. What's going on with her? Well, for one thing, she's still in my car at night when I go to sleep to sneak out to go to the guy's house. And, uh, she learned how to drive on her own so she can get there. She's 14 and she's driving. Yeah, drove, learned, stole, stole my car and taught her own self how to drive. Is she using protection? I took her to the doctor and uh, after we had the scary pregnancy uh, on the, when she was 12, I took her to the doctor and told them I wanted her to put on birth control and she told the doctor after I left out the room that she don't want no you know what birth control pills and so the doctor was trying to tell her well, you, can you use condoms uh, condoms and all that and she was like she want to have her baby and that's her goal is to have a baby and so she takes the birth control pills throws them in the garbage and I, every time I go to stores and I see condoms and stuff around I grab them and keep them in the house to where you know if something but like that happens. But she's not using them so she ain't using throwing nothing. money away. Uh, she has an anger problem? Yes, she got a very, very bad anger problem. She likes to fight. And she, she says she drinks. And uh, 
I, like I told the, your staff that my daughter gets up in the morning time and put on her little hoochie mama clothes. And what she got on now is what I call hoochie mama clothes. She got to get up and get dressed. She won't clean up or nothing. She gets up and get herself together. And then she uh, sits around the house and don't want to go to school. I take her to school, drop her off at school. She goes through the door, making me think she's going to class, and she goes, when I take off, she leaves out the back door and catches the bus to her boyfriend's oh house. You need a leash for her. You need a leash. That's absolutely right. All right, let's talk to her, okay? Come on now. Rochelle? Rochelle? Right? Rochelle? Huh? Could you only talk to me? Thank you. You are 14. Why do you want to have a baby? Because. Why? I sure do, bitch. You ain't got one. Oh. <laughs> year, Robin, who has a 14-year-old daughter named Tracy, the daughter got pregnant by her 20-year-old boyfriend. Three months ago, Tracy had the baby. Is that correct? Uh, Robin, is the result of what happens when a 14-year-old gets pregnant, the grandparents become parents? Is that what happens? Okay. Uh, you're the one who has been suddenly thrown into being a mother again? You have a three-month-old yes. now? Tell me, uh, how'd you fe feel when you found out she was pregnant? I was hurt. I was angry. I was mostly scared for her and the baby. Okay. She lives with you? Yes. She no, does? She does. Okay. Who's taking care of the baby? You. I am. You know, make the bottles, do the laundry. You do all of this? I do all that. Even though the all father of, of the child is still, he's not living with you? No. He wants to. I won't allow it. Okay, so you now have the baby. All right. Tell me what's going on in the family. This is the sister. Tell me what's going on in the family. First of all, what kind of guy is this? What do you think of him? Immature. Sure. I know him. I've known him for six years. And, oh God, he gets me so mad. First of all, I think he's, my sister's 15 years old. He's 20. She was 14 and he was 19 when she had, when she got pregnant. This is a guy that I was, I went to school with him. Um, all kinds, I mean, we hung out and all kinds of stuff. Right? It's just that if she's reading a magazine and the baby's crying for a bottle, she'll finish reading the article before she gets up and gets the baby a bottle. Or she'll ask her 13 year Or she'll ask sister. someone else, you know, it's always, or she has back problems. How do you feel about this? I hate it because I have a kid. I'm 20 and I have a three year old kid. And I had to do it on my own, you know, I, my mother helped me, but I took on my own responsibilities. I did everything. I wasn't living with her, you know, I didn't depend on nobody for nothing. It was me and my baby girl, and that's it. My mother bends over backwards for her, you know. I love my mom to death and I love my sister, but she calls my sister a bitch, my mother a bitch, and she can't stand her. And Sometimes she's like, I hate you, why don't you get out of my face? Well, I'm gonna walk over there and punch you, you know? She treats my mom like total junk. What does this do to mother? She's on a nerve. Of, she's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. You know, she's on medication. She's I'm, a wreck. I don't know what I don't know what to do anymore. I'm afraid that if I just let her go, because believe me, I thought of it. I can't take the pain anymore, and she's wrecking the family. There's other children in the home. Um, my fiance of six years is ready to walk out. He's had it. Um, You're in a tough situation because Tracy's been threatening to move out. Right? She wants to get her own apartment with Carl. Um, I won't allow it, and I just told her that. That's what I said. Let her go. Stick her out there. I'm afraid for Kelsey. For the Why baby. should Kelsey? 15 years of age. Now, see if I can kind of telescope this story. How'd you react, first of all? Shocked. I was shocked, and I was hurt, and I'm still hurting. Um, Ever Jean is a drug counselor and is extremely upset, uh, embarrassed that her daughter is a teenage mom, right? Yes. So who is taking care of the baby now? Mostly I'm taking care of her because Shamika's never there with me. If, she, if I think she's there, her room is on the second floor of my house. I, some nights I might walk upstairs, wake up and go upstairs at 2 a.m. in the morning 
and Chris is in the bed by himself. She's gone, I don't even know. So she leaves the baby alone and out she goes all hours of the day right. and night. She did that when he was two, three months old, left him unattended. She locked him in the bedroom. Put the chain on, if she's sleeping, she don't want him to come out. She'll put the chain on her door from the inside. He's there just trying to squeeze himself through the little opening in the door. He's two years old now, trying to squeeze himself out of a locked room. He's been in car accidents with her, riding in stolen automobiles, police shooting after him. He's been through a lot with her. It's not a good way to bring up a, a baby for sure, right? Right. What would you do if she got pregnant again? I'll just kick her out. I don't have any other choice. You know, you say you do that, but you wouldn't do that to the baby, would you? She, her, not the baby. Her, if she had it, I would keep Chris. I would keep Chris. Let's bring out 17-year-old Jamaica. Shamika, your mother has told us things that are not, not very great about you, um, mainly that you're kind of irresponsible. Um, skip school all the time. First things first, are you pregnant? I think. You want to explain that to your mother? How do you want me to explain it to her? You tell your mother. Why tell her you why, think how, I what. may be. She says that Chris, who's... <laughs> why don't they get the message <laughs> again? Well, I think for one thing, first of all, we ought to start off with a lesson in biology. Number one, if you have an orgasm, it doesn't mean that you are pregnant. <laughs> Number two, condoms are birth control. <laughs> and number three, ladies, you are looking at frogs and you think they're going to change into princes, and I want to know what you intend to do when they decide to go back to the pond scum. Where are you going to be? You can't bet on anybody but yourselves. And it's your job now at 14, please, Get an education.